my name's Wayne. I'm the warehouse manager here at Kit King in Leicester. And I'm just going to give you a bit about my background, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, and hopefully some things that will help you guys decide what you want to do in the future. So that's what's important here. So, how did I get my job? Well, I worked, quickly background, I worked in a retail store when I was younger. When I was, as soon as I left school, I went straight into work. My family needed the money. My dad had been redundant from an engineering job. So I had to go straight into work, which was fine. I didn't really want to go to college, didn't really want to go to university. I, was, I wasn't passionate about anything at the time. So I went and did that. Worked a job for six years. Left because I wasn't very happy. Um, went and worked for Vodafone. Vodafone, huge company. You think lots of money, new technology, brilliant. It was fun for about six months, but then I didn't enjoy selling a technical phone to an old lady or an old man and you know you have targets to hit and that you know it, it wasn't fun you know old ladies were coming in like i don't know how to use this with and i was just like okay this isn't for me um friend of mine at the time was already working here at kit king and i was like okay he went we've got a job opening nine to five monday to friday full time uh warehouse work and I'm like, oh warehouse i've never worked in a warehouse before but maybe that's a bit more up my street you know lugging things around that might work so i went and checked it out i was still at vodafone at the time came to kicking met the boss had a chat with him he's not our current boss it was our old boss um had a chat with him first thing he said to me why do you want to leave vodafone they're a huge company they must pay really well and they were they were one of the highest paid retailers at the time and i said money's brilliant uh, you know i've never earned so much money in my life but I'm not happy. I think I could be happy here. And he said, you are aware it's minimum wage, right? Which was like £400 a month pay cut for me at the time. But like I said, happiness was more important for me. And I was like, yeah, I'm fully aware. Um, I want to be happy in what I do. I don't want to earn loads of money if I'm miserable. Now, big thing for you guys going forward, I think that's what you need to think about. What are you passionate about? What, what would make you happy doing for the rest of your life? Or you know not necessarily the rest of your life it's okay to change your mind you know passions change but think about that what would make you happy and i would say chase that up go with that because you're young now is the time to make mistakes now is the time to try something fail learn from it fail again learn from that fail the most successful people learned by trying and failing trying and failing only that way will you succeed so if you try something and it doesn't work out, don't take it to heart. Learn from it. Because that's what's important. It's how you learn from your mistakes. So, fast forward six years, I'm now the warehouse manager here at Kit King. You know, taking that leap, making that decision to be happy, it's paid off for me. I'm still happy now, six years later. I'm in a much better position. I have a lot of responsibility. I have a team working with me. Um, I'm responsible for a lot of stuff. You know, it's, it's a really rewarding job. Um, so what does a typical day look like for me at work? Uh, so if any of you are in football teams, cricket teams, sports clubs, anything like that, or you wear branded clothing like Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, you come to our website to purchase that. Typically teams. You know, if you play for a Sunday football team, you will probably get your kit from us. So... The way that works is you go on the website, you'll place your order, you'll say if you want printed numbers, a printed badge, you know, embroidery, whatever. And that order, as soon as you pay for it, comes through to me on my computer. I will load it up, make sure everything looks okay, check all the instructions on the print, embroidery, print that off, give it to my team, who will then go and grab all the items from our warehouse. If we don't have those items in our warehouse, we will order them from one of the suppliers we work with. So Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, Puma, Umbro. You know, you name them, we work with them. And that's one of the exciting things about working here. It's all those big brands you get to work with. You get to see all the latest clothing, the next football kits that are coming out. We, we get to see all of that probably before most people do. Um, so a typical day's work for me is getting deliveries from all those different suppliers, trucks turning up at the door here's your nike here's your adidas here's a rail here's under armor you know we have to open all of them separate them into individual orders for the customers and ship them off now one order can be anywhere from one item 
to a hundred thousand items. We work from supplying your little brother his tracksuit for the first for his first game ever, or we go from supplying a whole university with their kits for their all their different sports clubs. You know, it, it's it could be anything from this to this. It's 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 so every day is different. Every job is different. Um, so. What is the most memorable part of my career? For me, it was the day I was made manager of the warehouse because I'd been aiming for that for a long time. I was already doing a lot of the work that a manager would be doing. I just didn't have the title. And that opportunity finally came to me after about five years of working hard. Um, so yeah, that was the most memorable day for me, being made the manager of the warehouse. Um, what's the worst part of the job? Obviously, with a lot of deliveries, a lot of cardboard, big old warehouse, you know, a lot of dust, a lot of rubbish. It's the cleaning up. No one likes cleaning, right? It's cleaning. That is the worst part, by far. Uh, the best part of my job. Um, like I say, it's sometimes you forget about it when you're working here day in, day out. But we're working with huge brands like Nike, Adidas. Under Armour. These are all the guys who you see on the celebrities' shirts when they're walking out, whether it's to a boxing fight, a UFC fight, football, cricket, you know, anything. All these big guys that we all know as heroes, legends, whatever, they're wearing things that we supply, we can get. We work with these brands. You know, sometimes you forget that, and I think that's one of the best things, working with all the big brands out there. We get tickets to football matches sometimes. We get invited to go and see the clubs train. You know, it's it's endless, the stuff that can go on when you work with brands that big. Um, what key skills and attributes are needed in this role? For me, there are two major ones. I could go through a list of a load of other stuff, but I think the two major ones, attention to detail, because we personalise people's clothing with names, numbers, initials, logos, sponsors. You know, you've got to pay attention to detail. And all the different sizes we have and clothing, you've got to make sure it's correct. And the other one is communication with your teams. You know, we have the print team, we have an embroidery team, we have the sales team, we have the warehouse team. If we're not communicating, things don't go smoothly. You get your order, something will be missing. Nobody wants that. So it's our job to make sure that that goes smoothly. And it's my job to make sure before your parcel leaves this warehouse, it is 100% correct. So that when you open it, everybody's happy. Uh, what advice would I give to someone looking for a similar role or just in general to develop skills and gain experience now for me I'm a big believer in doing what makes you happy now if you can earn fantastic money and be happy you've won the lottery go do that if you can do that brilliant you're winning in life but for a starting point if you like when I was a kid I wish someone had told me this I wish someone said Go with what makes you happy. Start there and work up. I didn't do that. I took whatever I could find. And if you need to do that because of the situation you're in, do that. But if you're in a position where you've got a bit of freedom here and you've got time on your hands and you don't have to worry about the bills coming in, start with what makes you happy. Find your passion. What are you? Pa what would you be happy doing with for the rest of your life? Start there. And we're blessed with the internet. Start Googling. What, you, what you're interested in, what you're passionate about. Start searching it on YouTube. Start looking it up on TikTok, LinkedIn. Any The internet is full of resource and you can just take all of that in. You can take it in without even noticing you're taking it in. I've learned more on YouTube and TikTok and little clips on the internet, reading articles. I've learned more in the past two years than I probably learned in the previous 10 years of my life. So... Let your minds be a sponge and just take in anything on the internet that you're passionate about. Watch people who are doing it well. You know, if you know people that you already look up to, what are they doing? How did they do it? See if you can find out. The internet's full of all of that kind of information. So use the tools that are there. Use the internet. It is our biggest tool we can use right now. Um, if you guys are on social media, I look up a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V for sure. He's big on helping younger people do what they're passionate about he's taught me to just think differently about how you approach work look him up on social media you won't regret it honestly is 
He doesn't let you get away with excuses. He will make you stop and think, all right, this is what I need to do. So honestly, guys, biggest advice for you, find what you're passionate about. Think about it. Take time to think, what am I passionate about? And then use the internet. Find out how you can start taking steps towards making that a career for yourself. And I, I really hope it works out for you. I really hope me sharing my story has helped you in some way. Best of luck, guys. Take care.